This is one of the books whose classification is tough. It's a suspense-filled puzzle involving Celine Watkins, a 60-something crack detective who has emphysema so acute she has to have oxygen available constantly, yet she's functioning and has made a career of tracking down missing persons. Celine has a better record in this area compared to FBI, but her specialty and biggest passion is reuniting families. Celine comes from an aristocratic family, but she lives in a tiny apartment in New York with her husband Pete. The story interweaves Celine's past with the present, and thus comes the difficulty in categorizing this book. Heller writes in what I consider a stream-of-consciousness manner in the novel, however, it is not confusing as you always know whether he is speaking of the past or the present. One day, Celine receives a phone call from a young woman, Gabriella, whose father, a professional photographer, went missing when she was a young child. Paul Lamont went on a hike and simply disappeared, and was assumed to have died as a result of a grisly mulling, but no body was found. Gabriella's request opens up a world of mystery and sorrow. Celine decides to take Gabriella's case and search for answers that will bring closure. She and Pleat fly to Denver where Celine's son, Hank, lives. There they borrow Hank's camper and set out to discover the answers Gabriella so desperately needs. As Celine and Pleat search for these answers, they begin to feel there are those who do not want them to succeed. A mysterious stranger is shadowing them as they work to solve the mysterious disappearance of Paul. Interspersed with the mysterious quest Celine is pursuing is the backstory of her own past and the mysteries surrounding it. It is difficult to give any further details without removing the challenge you will enjoy as you try to come up with the answers to the puzzles contained in this book of Heller's. It has been called his greatest work to date. I haven't read his other works, but I likely will search for them as he is a good writer.